Have you ever held a remote controller in your hand and wondered, what if I built this myself? Not just any remote, but a long-range, low-latency, wireless RC controller powerful enough to control planes, cars, and even drones. Well, today, that's exactly what we're going to build. In this video, I'll show you how to DIY a professional-grade wireless RC transmitter and receiver using Arduino Nano NRF24L01 transceiver modules and joystick controls, capable of communicating up to one kilometer in line of sight with smooth and responsive control. By the end of this video, you'll have a controller that doesn't just work. It feels real, solid, and ready for serious RC projects. What makes this special? This wireless RC system offers long range communication, up to one kilometer line of sight, smooth joystick control with very low latency, support for servo motors, brushless motors with ESC and motor drivers. Perfect for RC planes, RC cars, and with future updates, drones. And the best part, you build everything yourself. Required components. To bring this project to life, here are the components you'll need. Arduino Nano, NRF24L01 transceiver, joystick module, toggle switch, LM7805 voltage regulator, 220 ohm resistors, green LED, red LED, 10 microfarad capacitors, 100 microfarad capacitors, 18,652S battery holder, female header pins, long leg female header pins, male header pins, and a custom designed PCB. Why a custom PCB? To make this project clean, compact, and professional, I designed a custom PCB specifically for this RC transmitter and receiver. If you want to build it exactly like this, you can download the Gerber files from the link in the description and order your PCB from nextpcb.com. PCB ordering process. Quick walkthrough. Ordering the PCB is super simple. Register on nextpcb.com. Click on PCB quote and upload your Gerber files. Instantly get the quotation. Select your country and shipping method. Complete the payment and enter your shipping address. Place the order. Within 24 hours, the PCB is manufactured and shipped. And after a few days, our PCB finally arrives. Let's unbox it. circuit assembly, bringing it all together. Now comes the most satisfying part, assembly. First, solder the female header pins for the Arduino Nano. Next, we modify the joystick module. We desolder the pins and remove the spring from one joystick so it can act as a throttle control just like in real RC transmitters. A few moments later. Five minutes later.
solder the long leg female header pins, then mount both joystick modules. Now solder the NRF24L01 module using female headers. Assemble the red and green LEDs with 220 ohm resistors. We'll use the toggle switch in the next video. The one we had didn't fit this PCB. Assemble the receiver PCB by following the same steps. You can also refer to the circuit diagram. And finally, here's the finished transmitter and receiver PCB. Clean, compact, professional. Uploading the code. Now it's time to give life to the hardware. Upload the program code to both the RC transmitter and receiver. You can copy the full Arduino code from our website. The link is in the description. Once the upload is complete, it's time for the real test. Testing the system. For testing, I've connected multiple servo motors, a brushless motor with ESC. This setup is perfect for RC planes. And yes, in an upcoming video, we'll actually fly a plane using this DIY controller. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that. Second demo, RC car control. Here's another demo where we use this same DIY transmitter and receiver to control an RC car. Same controller, same system, different application. That's the power of building your own RC system. Final words. So that's it for today's build. If you enjoyed this project, learn something new, or want to see more advanced RC builds like planes, drones, and IoT-based robotics, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps keep these projects coming. Until next time, keep building, keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next video.